Here you have Vi. In this video, I will reproduce her haircut, color, and her hairstyle. Roll the tape! To recreate this style, I will section the hair separating the short area from the longer area. Using the razor, I will shape the perimeter area. And then I will cut the inner layers using vertical sections. Contrary to what you might see on this cut, the head is not being bathed with the clippers. The hair on this short side is about two fingers on length. Continue using the same technique, graduating slightly shorter on the perimeter, like about one finger width. Using the razor with the comb and the thinning shears with the comb, smooth the surface of the cut to facilitate the combing and the direction of the style. Visit and follow me on Instagram to get VIP information about what I'm going to be doing next week, so you can see how it looks before I publish the video. Attack on Titans is about to end, so don't mix next week my last haircut on Aaron Jaggers with his short haircut. In the long hair section, separate the front from the back and cut a solid shape in the back with the razor following a horizontal line. The length can always vary with the wishes of the person, a longer or shorter length. Continue the same line around the head. If you like this type of videos, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like and share it with your friends. To recreate the frame on the front, I will cut from the height of the mouth to the length of the perimeter in front of the ear. Use the condensed technique by moving all the hair to the opposite side, and at this angle cut with the razor from short to long. I will continue cutting all the interior layers of this style by combing all the hair to the opposite side in a horizontal line, above the crest area. Here you can use point cutting technique or the razor, whatever works best. This style has a lot of activation and layers from short to long on the surface of the hair. The twin comb technique will help me to create this cascade of layers in the back, with the combs perpendicular to the ground. This next part is critical to line up the layers on this side and break the heavy shape of the bob. I will take one strand from the front and cut it into a B shape. Connect the higher part of the B shape with the size by slide cutting from the top to the bottom. Follow the style and the cutting that I'm doing on the iPad. Continue this effect, taking your time to touch up and line it up the back, layering the middles and the ends and lining up the style by detaching it from the front. Try the hair with the desired style and retouch the layers where you see a heavy spot. This is how it looks in brown. It is a good style without color, but if you want it a little bit more epic, here we go. First, apply bleach to the hair until you come out with a medium blonde level, which is light enough. To recreate this color, I will mix two different formulas. As a base for the two, I will use Countless. It's a pinkish red. For the longer hair on this haircut, I will mix it with Cupid, a lighter, very intense pink. And for the short part of the haircut, I will mix it up with Pyro, a red-black color, to create a dark, more intense area.
To add more dimension and texture to the style, I will add some of the dark color and some of the tips that I select. Mixing the two colors with the fingers will create a softer faded effect. Clay by 1821 adds all the volume, texture and direction that this style needs. This style will look great with curly, wavy and straight hair. If you don't want to take the time to style it, just let it dry naturally. To dry it, use the round brush giving it direction on the tips and volume on the roots. And for the bangs, just blow dry forward. I would use a little bit of hair spray to position the hair and style it exactly how I want it so it lasts for a long time. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to do this style and how to replicate this photo. But first let me do the tattoo. Now don't just go and do this on your face, okay? For the photos I can style the hair a little bit more string and make those strands a little more defined. Separate pieces of the hair by touching it and basically keep manipulating the hair until you get the look that you want. This style is ideal for all face types, but it's very important that your ears are well proportioned. This is Angel del Solarte, Herbendor.